What's up guys, Too Tall Toby here and welcome to another Power Moves where today I'm going to show you how to save a ton of time by learning how to leverage the right mouse button menus in SolidWorks Extrude commands. Ow! So we're going to start out here by creating a boss extrusion from this fully defined sketch. I press the S key, jump into the extrude command, and then I type in what I want the depth of this extrusion to be, 85, and I press enter. Now, so far, what I'm showing you is actually very similar to what I showed you in the video for end condition shortcuts. And I encourage you to watch that video as well because the tips in that video and the tips in this video really go hand in hand. But it's at this point that I'm gonna deviate from that video. I'm gonna move the mouse a little bit in the background. And I'm gonna say that I want this to become a mid-plane extrusion. Now you probably know that I could go over here to the extrusion end conditions and choose mid-plane. But what I'd like to teach you today is that if I right mouse button in the background, I can choose mid plane and then the cursor changes indicating that if I right mouse button, it's the same as hitting the green check mark. So I can just right mouse button immediately and move on with my design. And if you really start getting used to this workflow, it looks something like this. I S key extrude. I'm going to make this 95 enter. I'm going to move the mouse a little bit. I'm going to right mouse button mid plane and then right mouse button again. And so this really can speed you through creating these types of extrusion extrude 85 enter right mouse button mid plane and right mouse button again. Very very fast workflow once you start getting used to how it feels. Now, another tool that I'll use from that right mouse button when I'm looking for some end condition information is the reverse direction functionality. So let's say I want this extrusion to be 40 millimeters deep, but I want it to go the other way. Well, what I can do is just move my mouse a little because I, I don't want to right mouse button and have it hit the uh, green check mark and end the command. So I just move my mouse a little, right mouse button, reverse direction, and then immediately right mouse button again. And that's another great way to control the direction of your extrusion if you're maybe trying to do a cut extrude and it's going the wrong way. Well, you could just right mouse button reverse direction. And speaking of cut extrudes, the third technique that I want to teach you today is my favorite of the three because this is the one that I use the most. Whenever we go into a cut extrude command, we can right mouse button and we can choose through all. Then we can immediately right mouse button again and that will finish out that command. And this is something that we use all the time in SolidWorks. You know, we want to create a cut extrude of this circle here, S key, extrude cut, right mouse button through all, and right mouse button again to finish that out. And I mentioned in the beginning that a lot of these shortcuts are not explicitly for the boss extrude cut extrude command. They work all throughout the software. For example, if I go into the fillet command and I click on the face of the fillet and click on this other face here, I can right mouse button to finish that command. You just immediately right mouse button again to finish that command. But another thing that I use a lot is if I move my mouse too quickly and I lose that cool little uh, right mouse button equals OK. So here you'll see I go into through all. The cursor looks like right mouse button equals OK but I move my cursor, I bump the mouse. What can I do now? Well, a lot of times what I'll do in that spot is I'll right mouse button and I'll just choose okay right from that menu. And that's another great time saver. And what I was getting at with the whole fillet thing is that that also works in commands like fillet or shell, a lot of other commands where you can just right mouse button in the background and choose okay. And I find that that saves me a lot of time. But what do you think about these shortcuts? Let me know down in the comments below what you think about these shortcuts. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to share this video with some other SolidWorks enthusiasts that you know. And of course, be sure to come back and join me for the next episode of Power Moves.